Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This today we have a special guest here. This is uh, I call him Billy, but Oxy. <laughs> call him Oxy, Ong C and you, yes. Good buddy of mine. Literally back from uh, America. So we are here to discuss about uh, you know what his life was like and uh, you know, pretty pretty much share some some ideas with you guys. Now we're gonna ask uh, Oxy like uh, you know like life in studying in Berkeley College of Music. Uh, yeah, what is it like? What is it like studying? What's the culture there? It's, it's fun. You know? It's fun. Um, it's fun, it's exciting, especially if you're, you know, I mean, I, I couldn't think of a, another reason why you would go to Berkeley and not, if you don't love music, you know, why would you choose Berkeley? So, if you love music and then you go into Berkeley, you're constantly surrounded by music, constantly surrounded by amazing musicians which can be a negative thing sometimes because like you're always surrounded by all these like uh, super super amazing people then you'll start having self doubts about yourself your playing skills um, mm. oh i should practice more but no matter how much i practice i still couldn't catch up you know things like that mm, it's always that feeling like you, yeah. you can never be good enough and you see and the competition again yeah right? and i think the the worst is like it's hard to see your own improvement because everyone's improving at the same time. Everyone's practicing, everyone's improving. So when you compare, you can't see yourself better than anyone else. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people fall into depression, you know, God, they just burned out and things like that. It's such a common thing in Berkeley. Um, yeah, but. Okay. Uh, Until well, I got into my major, um, I study music production and engineering. By the way, mm -hmm. um, so I'm an audio engineer, if you put it that okay. way. Okay. Right. And and you know, uh, the music life in Berkeley. Let's just talk about that for a second. Uh, they are practical a lot. Mostly are these pop, pop musicians, right? They they do they do more uh, classical film music. And I wouldn't say it's only pop. Um, I think contemporary would be a better way to put it. Right, contemporary music. Yeah, since um, jazz is uh, jazz is quite heavily involved. Um, even modern music, especially mm -hmm. in the composition major itself. So for compositions, they have like composition major and then jazz composition major. So by this differentiation, you can see that jazz is a whole different thing composition, the modern, the contemporary, the uh, traditional com composition is in the composition department. Yeah, do you have like, the, the question was like, do you have uh, classical musicians or classical courses? Like, like if someone wants to learn like classical piano? Um, there are teachers who actually teach classical, classical piano or classical music itself, but the whole in Berkeley, we call this uh, core music. So you have to take harmony, ear training, and what else? And arranging. Okay. So all these classes, um, they are more catered to the modern approach mm. of jazz, of contemporary music. So, and once you study your instrument, it, it's also sort of the same way. Your exams, they still you have to have an improv piece. Mm -hmm. You have to play a notated piece. Um, side readings, they have chords, side readings. Right. Instead of like how we usually have side readings here, which are everything notated. Mm -hmm. You know, they have like different styles. You have to side read in. They have uh, different chord levels. Like some are just seven, my seven chords. Some are always sharp 11 and flat 13 and things like that so I don't know if this is the best place to learn classical music since New England Conservatory is next door okay you know okay so for thing. NEC is New England Conservatory is a another conservatory like I visited you in in Boston we have yeah. been there as well yeah 
we have made a friend, uh, oh. Elaine. Yep, if you're watching Hi, this. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Okay, so uh, <laughs> we actually went to this uh, a concert, right? Yeah, that if was you can a, recall, we we went to this yeah, concert. This woodwind ensemble. It was a youth youth program. Mm -hmm. Um, because it was during the summer, so was it was it summer? It was already back, summer back then. Okay, yeah, okay, it was summer. I remember it was summer, and we were still quite chilly there. You see, so yeah. it's. Yeah, it's different. You see, the record weather can be rather it's, tricky, right? It's four seasons yes. in one day. Exactly, yes. exactly. <laughs> so that's right. Layers, always layers. Yeah, back to the weather again. Um, uh, NEC, yeah, yeah NEC. NEC. So, um, actually, NEC also has um has jazz program, but they are more towards the tra traditional setting of like big bands and orchestral um, jazz bands. Whereas in Berkeley. A lot of the musicians are actually classically trained, mm. like myself. You know, I'm classically trained, and then uh, we just venture into mm. the dark path. You know, dark <laughs> path. Wow. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay. But um, we just venture into jazz, into hard, uh, contemporary music. And okay. And so yep, is one of them. You know. Right. Um. Yeah. So yeah, for a second, can we talk about like your major, like what you did in in Berklee yeah. College of Music? Like, what was your, what did you actually study in Berklee College? So of I music? studied music production and engineering. Um, in this major, there are quite different paths that you can take. So you can take courses that are more catered towards uh, being a producer. Mm -hmm. Some courses that are more catered to was being an engineer. Okay, for some of you who do not know a producer, yeah, a producer is basically uh, a person that... Um, in how would you general, say? in a traditional setting, mm -hmm. um, or shall we put it in an old school way of saying things, mm -hmm. a producer is someone who oversees the operation the musicians, the whole musical direction of a piece of music or a song or yep. an album mm -hmm. and then you know they have to constantly communicate with the artists with musicians, they, who, who they get to play the bass, who they get to play the guitar who's the more suitable piano player, keys player to play this part to this song Things like that. All these yeah, are basically the person on the top who's in charge of the uh, the, the the project. Yep. Yep. Um, whereas as a modern producer, we usually it's usually like they're the beat maker. Um, mm, the or, beat maker. Yeah, the beat maker or the other ones. For example, Zed, um, Steve Aoki, these yeah. famous DJs. They're actually producers themselves. You know. They make the beat, they make the, the whole production of the song in the box. In the mm -hmm. box is when you do everything in a computer or um, in a computer setting. Or, um, you, yeah, you produce everything on your own. And you get a singer come in, listen, uh, come in and sing, sing over anything, um, the beats you produced, or. Um, you cannot, it's, it's still as the same as before as they still play the same part as the traditional producer which they may still find musicians to play mm -hmm. they might play themselves mm -hmm. you know we don't know okay you know every producer works differently mm -hmm. so yeah and that's the producer's role as an engineer um so at least in Berkeley, there's the recording engineer and there's the mix engineer. And usually these two are considered as one. Um, so there's the mix engineer and there's the recording engineer. Recording engineer. Yeah. Okay, so the, the one that you actually specialize in are uh, more of the uh, record engineer, right? Or the mix engineer? Actually, you do mixing. Both. Both? Yeah, I do mm. both. Um, I do both. Okay, yeah, so yeah. let's just let's talk about like um, in a real uh, real scenario, like work scenario. Like uh, there's a song. If you want to produce a song, so basically there's the record part, 
you know, uh, before, okay, there's, there's, there is the writing part, there's the composition, but there has the record, and there is the record, the mix, and the master, right? Yes. So for your role, you do more of the uh, the, the record, record and, and mix. And mix. And or mix. So it depends, because some people, especially like home studios, home studios nowadays are getting more and more popular. Mm -hmm. So people start to record at home. Okay. Yeah, so they just bring in their music for you to mix. And then we just mix it in the studio. Mm. Even mixing itself, a lot of people are starting to build their home, own home studios. Mm -hmm. And you can just mix it at home. 